Good morning. Um, I'm in one of my favourite places this morning. This is basically home. It's the wonderful little Salisbury Hill in Bath. And today we're talking sunrise and we're talking about the 24 to 70. Um, 24 to 70 is one of the most versatile um, lenses I've ever owned. Um, the F4 is absolutely fantastic because it's lightweight, it's portable, it's got fantastic colour rendition and it's got fantastic detail. And here I'm going to show you why. So the beautiful sun is starting to rise um, uh, with a really, really um, amazing mist in the valley. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to take some um, shots and uh, just take my time with this. So first of all, I'm just going to take my um, ISO down to about 80 on F11 and then a fourth of a second for now. I'm just going to take some shots on a um, two second timer just to stop the camera from moving and get all that gorgeous, gorgeous detail. Love it. So the colours are really coming across now. All right, so let's have a look at this ever changing scene. So here we've got this beautiful clouds kind of just coming in here. And uh, I'll just turn my um, screen down a little bit so you can see what's on my phone screen. There we go. So you um, can see this really, really um, beautiful cloud coming in here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put my camera on manual. Um, now the, the, the joy of using mirrorless is being able to work out the exposure before you take it. So um, what I'm going to do is just um, keep it on F11 and ISO 80 for now. And I'm going to take it off bracketing and I'm going to bracket myself because I want these exposures to be just right. So I'm going to expose once for the sky. It's not quite level. So um, I want that sky really, really deep. There's some beautiful colours in it. Okay, and then I'm going to expose once, just using shutter speed for the ground, so that I've got lots of detail in that ground, and then pop those two together. Now the colours are starting to fade, it's all starting to change, but it's absolutely glorious. So what is so fantastic about this lens? Um, so basically, uh, if I just bring it closer. Um, okay, so on this, on this camera, um, what is brilliant about it is the way that, um, uh, for, for one, because it's 47 megapixels, you can crop into this lens massively. Now I've found that time and time again, um, uh, you know, I would like more of a zoom, but, um, I can also crop in at least one third um, into, my, um, into my images without any problem at all. Now there's this gorgeous mist coming across the valley. So I'm going to try and uh, photograph it whilst it's coming. It's coming across really, really quickly. It's basically low-lying cloud. And it's just filling the valley with atmosphere. It's gorgeous. Okay, so here we've got this beautiful mist coming into the valley. And what I really want to do is do this as a crop. Um, so as I, um, as I kind of zoom into this area, really thinking of, uh, of, of roughly this kind of space here, I think this, this would make a really beautiful kind of minimal scene. Now, this is the kind of thing that you can do with, um, uh, with the 24 to 70. If we just zoom in so we can see the focus, we can even see that at this stage, it's going to be a really, really high quality photograph. So I'm just going to turn my sh shutter release to two. So if we have a look here, okay, and just zoom into this, you can still get all those details in that crop, and that's probably how I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to go for a pano at, um, at 70 mil and I'm going to bracket my shot. So again, when you're doing a pano, just make sure you keep it as level as possible. 
and you take it across probably about 30%, maximum 50%, so that, so that when you get it back into the editing software, it's able to overlap those images. God, I mean, what a day. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. This video is not a, a kind of um, full spec video about this lens. I mean, I think this lens has been out for so many years that lots of people have covered that. I'm looking at it from landscape photography perspective and from the perspective of somebody who's used it for years and loves it. Okay, it's getting super bright now as the, as the sun is starting to come out and it is just gorgeous. You can see this amazing view over the valley here. Now from here, you can also pick out some individual trees and that is absolutely magical. So there's a line of mist along here, but there's also a lone tree down here that I'm not sure if you can see from here, but I'll, um, I'll show you in the photograph and it is quite something. So with the light and, uh, and the light really, really, really starting to come in now, um, it's really, really important to get your exposure right, get your shutter speed right, and um, otherwise it can just be blown out and you can take out some of the details. So I'm just going to concentrate for a minute on, um, on manual, trying to, get this, trying to get this completely right. So first of all, I'm going to zoom into the subject. This tree is completely isolated. Oh, it's going. The mist is coming in. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of different exposures. Let's see what we can get before it completely disappears. Darn it. <laughs> Starting to completely disappear as I speak. Now, here, this section here, there are beautiful tips of trees here. And again, I'm not going to use the whole shot. I'm kind of envisaging the shot with my 24 to 70 um, as I go. And I'm really going to take a, a kind of zoom crop of this kind of area here. Um, probably something like that. That's looking fantastic. So that's it for today. Um, yeah, the 2470, I, I think is just an absolutely brilliant, versatile camera that you can use in all different types of conditions. Um, the color rendition is excellent. The sharpness is excellent. Um, the fact it's lightweight and small and compact is brilliant. And the fact it's one of the cheapest pro lenses you can buy on the market is brilliant. It's an S range lens. It's amazing. So, from here in the misty Bath Eastern, I'm going to say goodbye and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.